Okay, ladies, so we're going to start off with this Universal Brow Pencil by Billion Dollar Brows. And I'm going to take the spoolie side of the pencil, and I'm going to use that to brush my brow hairs up. Then I'll take the pencil side and I'm going to use that to trace my natural brow line using short light strokes. And now I'm just taking the spoolie side again and I'm using that to brush my brow hairs down. And then I'm going to trace my top brow line. Same method using short light strokes. All right, and here I'm just filling in the front of my brows. And now I'm using the spoolie to brush my brows back up into place. Now I'm taking my NYX concealer jar in the color Glow. And then I'm going to use this flat concealer brush and I'm going to carve out my eyebrows, tracing my natural brow line but making sure I don't touch my brow hairs with the concealer brush. All right, and you want to take your time and be as careful as possible so you'll get a more precise application. And then I'm just going to pull that concealer down to my lid because I'll be using this as an eyeshadow base. So I'm going to spread this all over my eyes. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. All right, now I'm taking this BH Cosmetics fluffy eyeshadow blending brush and I'm going to use that to blend the concealer out. All right, now I want this concealer to be as thin as possible on my eyes because I'm using it as an eyeshadow base and you don't want it too thick and sticky when you set it or even if you don't set it, you don't want it too sticky for your shadows. All right, now I'm taking this airspun setting powder in the color translucent and I'm going to use that to set my base now I usually don't set my eyeshadow base but um, I explain all of that in the eyeshadow tutorial if you guys watched it already you know if you didn't you could just watch the tutorial and get the explanation now I'm just using this covergirl mascara to tame my brows and make sure they stay in place. You can use brow gel, it's perfectly fine, but mascara works just as good. And I don't have any brow gel right now. But just be sure to use a light hand with it because black mascara can look harsh like um, black eyeliner. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Almond and I'm gonna carve out the top of my brows. Now this, Concealer is darker than this. It's, um, I didn't wipe off the concealer brush, so it's mixing with the lighter concealer that I used underneath my brows. But I like to either use my foundation or a darker concealer to carve out my brows uh, to avoid the halo that you get when you use that light concealer. So now I'm just taking that BH uh, blending brush again, and I'm using that to do some more blending on the concealer. And then I'm using the spoolie side of the uh, billion dollar pencil to fade out my eyebrows. I guess it's called the fade away method. That's what some people call it. So your brows won't look so boxy in the front. All right. All right, and now I'm just doing some more blending out the concealer with the BH uh, fluffy blending brush. And that's it for my eyebrows, ladies. Um, I'm still gonna do some more. They, they're still a little uneven, but I'll fix that when I apply my foundation. You guys will see that in, the, in my uh, face routine tutorial. And yeah, that's about it. See you guys in the next video.